Hey everyone, it's Chaos World here. Still can't get that lighting right. <laughs> I'm here with Maybell, and at first I'm gonna just do a disclaimer that if you come to this video to get answers and you're new, then you must go away <laughs> pretty much because this isn't an answers video. These are just my questions because my new arrival here, I do want to send her to get a face up done or away but I'm torn between doing it myself and sending her away for like the pros of sending her away like it's gonna be a professional I know it's gonna be good and they can probably do what I want but in terms like the cons is that like I'm sending my dolly away like probably sometimes across the country or anything and I don't want anything to happen to her on the way like I don't want her to get lost or anything and I've heard a few horror stories where like people don't send the doll back so I'm a tad bit nervous about that if you have any like tips about sending your dolls to get face up then leave in the below and also doing it myself would be kind of fun because I get to explore my artistic side a bit more I've never done it and I'm not a really good artist so it'd be a little bit fun for me to I don't know attempt and I know for sure I do want to attempt doing body blushing at least I'm just not sure if I could go to face up yet so I have a few noob questions that if you have the answers to then you can post them below and I'd be grateful so the first subject is of eyes so as you can see I changed her eye to the blue one this one was already in I did it was kind of put in a little weird so I readjusted it and then I did I put in the blue one and I also fiddled around with my other dolls because with Tristan's eyes because his were a little weird so then I fixed it too and I put up the courage to do that so I'm like why not so first question that I don't know if I really did it right is are you supposed to take the head off when you put the eyes in because i did not do that i didn't like struggle or anything but i don't know if like the proper way is you're supposed to take their head off and then put the eyes in that's one question and another question i might get i don't know if people get enraged by this but what is up with Mako eyes? I don't understand. <laughs> like, I see everybody buys them. Everybody's reviewing them. Everyone buys the Mako eyes. But I'm like, I've looked up, like, what is it about the Mako eyes that are like, oh my gosh, everybody, I need to buy one. It's always sold out, that type of thing. So I'm like, what's, what's the deal, you know? <laughs> so if I want to, like, buy one or something i know what is it like the eyes are really realistic or vibrant like from regular eyes or any other company like what's up with make eyes so you can fill me in at the bottom so i made a little list here so i wouldn't get too off topic um another thing that if you're doing body blushing and such like that do you have to unstring them to do any body blushing or do you just have to take the head off or can you just wrap like the head and blush the body that's a good question that i have that i haven't really seen very much answer like an answer thing to also for example like for hands this is like maybell's hands for that say i wanted to change her hands do, can I just pull it and like put something in between there and then take her hand off and then like say I put like a I don't know a little a really skinny pen or something in between to hold it from the string going back in could I just take the hand off and then put in a new hand on and then remove it so it'd be normal or do I actually have to unstring everything to put the new hand on and I'm um, same question about feet as well that I have about that because I do I have a doll that my mini feet has heel feet but she has hook hands and feet so I 
want to try to put the hook feet, I mean the heel feet on, but I'm not sure if I have to unstring everything to put it on. So that's why I got that question from. Um, also, um, ooh. oh, also I heard that the MSC sealant is toxic. So I was wondering, where does, does it, getting your mask vary like you can get your mask from i don't know your i don't know your local hardware store or does everybody get it from a certain online store like that super mr clean thing i heard that everybody gets it from online for, because it's from japan but is there also like a specific mask thing that comes that everyone's getting online or can I just get it from a regular store type thing? Oh, I'm sorry about this light. It's making me look really weird. But Also, another question I have is, oh, for face-ups, if you do it yourself, um, I hear all the time saying, like, the weather is, like, rainy or anything like that. Like, it's not good weather to do face-ups. And I'm questioning, like, what is the right weather? <laughs> if it's too hot and humid you can't if it's rainy i don't know if it's cold if it affects it like what are the what are the temp like what does it feel like when it's the good weather to do a face-up type thing and if you did do it when it's really hot or something what would happen so i'm curious about that and then the final one isn't as much of the like blushing and all that stuff but I always wonder, like, say you have a unique name for your doll, like, I don't know. For example, you named your doll, like, Excalibur or something. And if you ever see, like, another person on a video or on social media or something, and they have, like, their doll has the same name, like, they also named their doll Excalibur, do you feel any way about it or do you not? For me, I already know, like, my dolls have pretty common names, so it's not going to be a big deal if I'm pretty sure there's tons of other people who name their dolls Tristan and Camille and stuff. So it doesn't really bug me, their common names. But say, like, you do have, like, a really unique name for your doll, do you feel any way if someone else names their doll the same name? And I guess that's it for now. Um, I don't, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video thank you for watching and thank you if you answer any of my questions bye